Okay, guys. All right, so uh, today what we're doing is areas of compound shapes. Okay. So by the word compound shape, well, do you know what the word compound means? Say Like a different shape. Like different, no, I wouldn't say the word different really sums it up. Actually. Irregular, I guess it could mean irregular, but the word compound means that, right? Uneven. I wouldn't say that either. I see what you mean. You're looking at the screen and it's irregular, uneven, that kind of thing. But Does it mean that it's more square? Like it's well, a square, yeah, it, it's, it's like, not going to be a square, but a rectangle is not a square, but it's not a compound shape. Is it like, Same it, it's like you can make rectangles out of it. Okay, so it's not really, well, no, it is, I guess you can make rectangles out of it, but it's more that it's a shape made up of other rectangles. Okay, so it's like compound means putting things together. All right, so what we've got here is this shape, it's much clearer in your book than mine, um, but if we have to find the area of this shape, all right, basically what we want to do is we need to use the tools that we have and we know how to find the areas of rectangles, absolutely no problem, all right, so if we could identify the rectangles in this shape and find the areas of those rectangles, then we can find the area of the shape, simple as that. Right. Now there is more than one way of doing this, and this is what I want to go to. I want you to see that there's more than one way of doing it. So, we want to cut this shape into rectangles, and rectangles that we know the length and width of. So, any ideas as to how you could cut this into different rectangles? Mm -hmm. Me. Thomas? You could see, see where it's at three centimetres yeah. in the middle there. Yeah. You could draw a line straight like okay, there. Yeah, from there across. From there all the way across. Yep. Okay. And then you have two 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 um Yes, yeah, so I have yeah. one rectangle, a second rectangle and a third rectangle. Yeah. Okay. So good. Uh, I could just just to make it really clear, I could shave that one in and then I can shave that one in. And I can shape that one. So I've got three different rectangles, very clear. So now all I need to do is find the areas of those rectangles. Now we've got to be a little bit careful because what are the dimensions of this rectangle? So we've got to do length times width. So that equals the area. So what is the length? Seven. No, no, no. Oh, wait. This is where the thinking comes in. Oh! Thomas? Um, is it, um, wait. Yes, I think I have it. Yeah, go for it. Actually, not. No, it's, it's, it's. Right. I don't know. Uh, the length is five centimeters. Okay, good. Because what we've got is we are only dealing with this rectangle now. All right? So what we've got to be careful of is we don't read that seven as the length of this rectangle, all right? The seven was the length of this whole thing. What we're now dealing with is the five and the three, three that's down here, okay? So length times width is actually five 15. times three, which makes 15, 15 centimeters square. square centimeters, good? Okay, all right, here's the, the next thing then. So this rectangle, that we're now working on. So we've got this long, thin one. What are the dimensions of that rectangle? So again, length times width is the area. So what's the length of that rectangle? Right. Two. The length. Oh, uh, nine. Six. Nine. No, 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 yeah, nine, nine. Why nine? Because, um, the, so you see, so that one is three centimeters yeah, that's long. Yeah, three. The middle is three centimeters that's long, three. and the other one is three centimeters and that's long. That's three, and they all add up to, to make the length of that one. So a length of nine multiplied by the width. The width 
Right, two. I know we can count squares, which is two, which is fine, but is there any way of knowing um, what it actually is? Because, you know, you need to check. Eight. Oh, I know. Yeah? Because uh, you cut off two from the second rectangle, so then... The yeah, because if that's only five, but this whole length is seven, I can see that this bit, if that's five, and the whole thing's seven, this must be two, two to make the seven. Yeah. Okay, well done, right. Good. So even without the squares, I would know that it's nine times two, so the area is? 18. 18 centimeters. Square centimeters. Okay. And then finally, this rectangle, again, length times width is area. So the length is? The length is three centimeters. No, no, no it's four. So the width is three. The it's length four. is four. Four because, because if that's, that's two, two and this that's whole thing is six, this one has to be four. 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 You can count squares. So four Ten. times three is twelve. Okay, so of this compound shape then, what is the total <laughs> area? Um, so you have to do eight by you have to so you have to plus 15, eight. yeah fifteen there fifteen plus eighteen plus eighteen plus twelve plus twelve okay so five so eight and makes ten five is fifteen carry one one two three four so the answer is forty five area is forty five square centimeters square centimeters. Okay? Now, great, answer, done, fine. Just want to point out that that's not the only way that it could have been done. Alright? We could also put the line in what up. Yeah, so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to delete all of this. It's on the video, so you, you get to see. So if I get rid of all of that, um, so we go back to our initial blank drawing. Right, so right, you've you've seen it before. We've got the answer. However, that was based on splitting it the way Thomas wanted to split, which was straight away across the top. It doesn't have to be done like that. It could be done like oh, straight oh, up. Oh, straight up like that. Yeah, so I could have done it like that and like that. Okay, and then we have seven times three makes. 21. 21. It's 3 times 2, two is still, which is five. 6. <laughs> and then we've got 6 times 3 makes 18. 18. 18. So we've up. got 21 plus 6 plus 18. 45. No, 45. 45. It'll be 45 yeah. again, yeah? yeah? Shouldn't be any different. So we've got two ways to do it. There is actually three ways another to do it. way. Which would be a combination of the two. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I saw. All right. So I could have done this. I could have done So down like that. That would actually have been and easier. And like that. So I could have done that. Yeah. I could have actually cut it into four. But there's no need. Or you could have right. done another one there. <coughs> yeah. So all I need to be able to do. Why is my, mm -hmm. why is my wrong and I'm working? Oh, I'm not in the same thing. Okay. So. All of what we're trying to do is we're identifying the rectangles. Cut it up however you like. You should still end up with the same answer. Make sense? Okay. So, what are you going to do now? But in your book... Can you imagine you've got to the... So you see the one that we've done here? That they did it that way. All right? <laughs> Get the answer 45. That's fine. So, in your books... We have to draw that out. All right. Um, I'm afraid. Yes. Well, I my let's. I, I just want to pick the one I want you to do actually. So uh, we've got those. I would actually like you to do question two. What? All right. Now, what you're going to have to do is draw the shapes. Okay. So draw it. Use the squares in your book. So maybe two little squares, or for one big square, for 
for four centimetres. Two little squares, one centimetre. Draw the shape accurately using the length, the correct length, and then cut it and show how you're doing it. All right? So I actually want to draw a ruler, pencil, nice and neat. Got it? So these are the questions that I want you to do. Yeah, what's my